Hey, I am Patience Talley. I am the campus director for the Louisiana Delta Community College in Ruston and Jonesboro. I am from Monroe, Louisiana, born and raised, and I went to Washita High School. Um, I was a cheerleader at Washita, and I went to ULM actually for a year and cheered, and I used that experience as um, something positive because I met my husband there. I went to LSU after leaving ULM. I cheered at LSU. My husband uh, proposed to me in Tiger Stadium, and we came back to Monroe after college, and we got married. I have two beautiful children, Demi Lee and um, Deron the second. We call them Deuce. We've also grown our family at this moment, and so um, just so excited to be a part of this community and the things that are going on in this community. I'm very involved in women's organizations in the community. I'm a part of the Junior League of Monroe Women's Symposium, and we actually just had an event on our campus here in Ruston. Um, it was a Women's History Month panel, and so I'm just excited to pour back into the students on campus and kind of share um, some of my experiences and leadership with them. So as far as role models, I have to say that Dr. Wendy is one of my number one role models. She was in Leadership Washita with me back in 2021. She inspired all of the women that were a part of Leadership Washita to just be better versions of themselves and um, to stand up for what's right and just to pursue excellence. And so I would definitely consider Dr. Toppinson one of the leaders that I just admire, you know, just their work, work ethics, um, how she manages life and family, and how she encourages the people that are around her. I think it's important to be authentic. Um, and that is important because when you are leading a group of people, they want to see that you are genuine and that you don't change. If you come as a leader and you try to be something that you're not, you're not gonna be able to continue to do that each and every day. And so I believe it's important to be super authentic, um, compassionate, understanding, because all of our, you know, the people that may look up to us, they're, they're looking to see what type of leader they should be. And I would hope that, you know, from seeing leaders that they would, would see that, you know, being your authentic self is the best part of leadership. I also want to put in there, servant leadership is important as well. When you're in a leadership position to actually look at it as an opportunity to serve the people that are following you and the people that are around you because they will see that um, it's not just about a title, it's not just about um, a position, but it's truly about making the community around you better, making the people around you better. And so servant leadership is something I also feel is important when you're in a leadership position. Women in leadership is a difficult task because we are balancing so many things. And, you know, in reading and researching about how I can be a better woman in leadership, um, there's this thing called imposter syndrome where we have self-doubt and we don't feel we belong in the position that we're in or, you know, we feel that the space that we're in is just, you know, not our space. I want to encourage you that you are in the right space. Wherever you are in life right now is right where you need to be. Um, and and if, if you're in a moment that is maybe challenging, to use that experience to make you a better person. You are a queen and you need to live like it. We are all fighting this battle, but we hope that you know we will be able to push through and just be encouraged so that others around us can see that we have persevered and that we are resilient. And so I encourage all women that are pursuing leadership, that are in leadership, um, that want to be that next CEO executive, go for it. Go for it. Take away that self-doubt and really move in a space that's going to bring you joy, um, that's going to bring, bring you happiness, and that's going to bring you fulfillment. I want to wish all the women at Louisiana Delta Community College and our community a happy, happy Women's History Month. This month it is about you. It's about you creating history and learning more about history. So I just want to wish you a happy Women's History Month, and I hope that you all have a great day.